Ah, so you've chosen Water Emergent Predator as the review choice. Very nice. So this is pretty much also a repaint of the original, uh, the new articulated, super articulated Predator figure. Um, sorry, I'm a little tired. You can tell it's very nice and shiny. Uh, my mother has commented that it looks like a fish because of the shiny blue paint on it, making it look like, I guess, the gills, shiny gills. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that. I like the shininess of it, of it really. It's really nice. The transparency stuff too, like honestly. All right, so you can tell here the knives, the little wrist plates go in and out. But of course, be careful. I've broken the one on my big red predator already. The hands are semi-translucent, semi-colored. You can't see it that much here, but over here you can. It's very translucent. See. And then of course here's a little bit more translucent. Here, let me just focus on that. A little more translucent here over here on the elbow. And while we're at it, the elbow does go, you know, four in the back, one joint in the elbow, and goes around 360. But try not to, because you'll break the little tube here on the side. Very, very nice. More transparency here over here on the bicep. You can see there's a little bit more transparency going on here. And the legs and the thighs. And while we're at it, he has the same articulation as the other predator, so the legs can go forward and back and in and out. He's got the new T joint. And he's got double jointed knees, so he makes it much bigger than the original predator that we got in Series 3. Um, very nice detail right here, also. Very cool. There was no detail missed at all. I've seen a custom of this once on Facebook. But yeah, and you see the transparency here in the leg, in the foot, some transparency here as well. There's more transparency here in the bicep, in the arm, in the hand. That face, that face is really nice. Like how you color it in black, the eyes just full on black. The braids, also the braids have some blue in there. Over here in the back, got some more blue on the, on the Predator's little kilt thing. Some blue here in the backpack as well. Very nice, very cool figure. If anything, get this figure for, you know, the, the shiny blueness of it all. Huh, the blueness of it all. Also, the legs, the, I mean, the foot goes around 360 and forward and back. And what else? The head, of course, can be popped out and switched for other predatorial heads, which I don't mind. And then you can also choose to either have it with the, what is this? Ah, a little string. You can choose to have it with the backpack or without the backpack. It really, you know, is your choice, viewer's choice. So, it's, oh wow, did that really just happen? This is real life. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. It's very nice, it's tall. How tall is it? Well, let me show you, if you don't mind. Here's Jungle Encounter Dutch. And right here is Jungle Disguise Dutch. So, oh well, I guess I should put him here more. So yeah, this guy is very tall, and now with the double jointed knees, it makes him even that much gigantic compared to the other figures. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Like this figure a lot. Again, if you missed that on series, uh, was it series eight of the re remade Predator figure with the new articulation? Definitely get this one because this, this is like mid cloak, mid not cloaked, and the shiny blue. You know, anything just for the shiny blue paint. Like it looks really nice. In all honesty, but again, your choice, you know, it's your figure and you want it now. So yeah, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful in making you decide, you know, what Predator figure I guess you should get. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming soon, if you want to, of course, you don't have to, it's not required. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.